Hello and welcome back to the Achievement Planner, and today I'm coming to you with a surprisingly good game. I didn't know I was going to like it, but it's We Happy Few. And I typically like games that are more like survival based, so even if it's like Resident Evil where there are a few enemies and you have to you have to figure out what you need to save. So you have to, you know, um, item management is very important. And so, but 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 this type of game is more of like an action survival, it almost feels like with some crafting and stuff. And I typically didn't like that, but I played this through this one, and now I kind of like games like this, yeah. And I'll be coming to do with some more like this. So yeah, so this game, We Happy Few, it's, and I'm going to do all the DLC as well in this, in this, in this plan. 70 achievements for 1540 gamer score, 1540 gamer score, 6 out of 10 difficulty. It's really not super hard, but there are some parts that are challenging. Completion time, 50 to 60 hours or so, and playthrough number one, you're playing through the entire story playthrough. Which is three different sections, three different characters, and no killing. So, um, and they say you could kill no killing on the first one. They say just don't kill on the first two characters, and the third one you can. I just didn't kill on any of them, and I got this achievement. It wasn't as hard as it sounds. Playthrough number two, all DLCs. And there were three different DLCs that I bought. So if you, you don't have to listen to that part of the plan, of course, if you're not going to look into buying them. But they were pretty awesome. All right. Category number one, story achievements. 14 achievements for 255 gamer score. And these are all the achievements you will get for just completing the, the base game and all those. Uh, yeah. Or just you'll get all those. Category number two, author achievements. 11 achievements for 250 gamer score. Yes, author. So Arthur is the first character that you see in this game. And most of the game, I would say you play as him, to be honest. Um, and then the other two, you play a shorter amount. So number one, Snug is a bug on a drug. And this is 15 gamer score. Took the joy at the very beginning of the game. So you can get a whole bunch of achievements just at the beginning of the game. You just start. So in the beginning, you get a choice. You could take the drug joy that takes away all your worries. and Or you can not take joy. So if you take joy immediately at the beginning... The game ends, and you get this achievement. Congratulations, you finished the game. Anyway, then you restart it, and you can keep going. All right, so now if you don't take joy, and you continue the story, two, employee of the month, 15 gamer score, read all newspaper articles as Arthur, and redacted only the uncomfortable ones. Yeah. So as a way to not spoil, because I don't like to spoil on these plans. I very, very rarely do it. All I'm gonna say is that there are three documents Two of them you have to approve, and one of them you have to censor. Hopefully that's that's a, a lack of spoiling there to tell you which ones, because I'll let you figure it out. I'm going to be putting up fantastic walkthroughs by Aussie Gamer, and Aussie Gamer 17 is the best, and he he has this whole thing. I watched a lot of it, and I'm going to put up the whole playlist right here. And yeah, so if you want to know exactly which ones to do, you could always watch that. Number three, enjoy the view. 15 gamer score, correctly sabotaged. Clive Burt Whistles, Clive Burt Whistles redactor work. Oh my goodness! All right. So in that same kind of area, where in the beginning where you're at work, you need to go to his office, and and you know you'll you'll see it, and actually you'll see it on the video. There are three files, and and so yeah, basically you need to approve one of them, and then you have to censor the other two. Same thing with with uh, he has three files. You have to approve one and censor the other two. Um, but I'm not telling you which ones you have to approve and which ones you have to censor. So you can figure it out on your own. All right. So now, uh, number four, Arthur Hastings. It's 15 gamer score. You successfully took Flash as Arthur. And Flash is like something you can get like a boost and you go faster. So you just have to take it as Arthur and you get that achievement. Uh, it's, it's another type of pill. There's a whole bunch of pills in this game. A lot of drugs. I don't know. Five, that kind of game. 15 gamer score. Retrieve the credentials from the club. And so this is actually easier than, than it seems, but this is an Arthur storyline quest, and it takes place in Maidenholm. That's the, that's the area it is. And the club is there, but it's only at, open at night. And there's some, like, benches in front. So I'm going to let you figure out how to get in the club, even though there's an invitation right on the bench outside the club, even though I didn't see it. But, yeah, the invitation's right there. But once you get in there, um, yeah, you have to retrieve the credentials, and I'm going to let you figure out how to do that. But that's where it takes place. And like, kind of like, you know, that's that's the main goal for me. I'm just going to show you kind of where things take place. You got to figure them out on your own, so there's no spoilers. All right. 
Um, the next one is six, the importance of not being seen. Finish Mystery House without being spotted once. So you get to this house, and it's called Mystery House. And it is, um, it's a, a, it was in the treehouse line. Like, so you have to do, so you have to do this treehouse line of missions, and you're given the quest Looney in the treehouse, and, and it's the final quest. And so even getting into the front gate is going to be hard, but I feel like you're going to pass this uh, a bunch of times. So you have to get into this house uh, once you're doing that mission and you need to just like eliminate or knock out all of the NPCs in the, in the thing. The last one is the high priest upstairs in the main room. Uh, some people say you have to find all the ephemeral linens. I think you might, I mean, you have to do that anyway for the, for the, for the, for the, for the game, for like the mission. But I don't remember having to do that for this. I don't know. I think you do though. The next one, so these are like specialty things you have to do. Uh, a lot of it is kind of just follow the map and find the mission and do stuff. All right, number seven, the slaughterer's apprentice. Oh gosh, find all the butcher's apprentice. Oh, finish all the butcher's apprentice quests. Oh my goodness, this was yeah. So when you reach when you reach Saint George home, Saint George's home, the home, H O L M home. Um, yeah, yeah. If you travel to the southwestern part of it, you'll look at the map. You should see an uh, exclamation point, and that's an impatient person. This was irritating to me because I couldn't find these impatient people. I don't know. Um, but I think it glitched out at one point. So you have to find the impatient people and do the quest, and you're delivering meat, maybe. And then, yeah, you... Just, oh, man. And then it, you go to the butcher, and then the slaughter's apprentice quest will start. It's like... Yeah, just the, the impatient. Look for the impatient people in St. George's home. You'll find it. Just just keep going through it and, and do all the quests. It's good to do all the quests anyway. Um, and then you have to go through all of the different things in this butcher's place. And yeah, not my favorite part of the game, but that's okay. Uh, number eight, Cat Burglar, 15 gamer score. And this is in the Thomasina house. And you have to collect all the fake cats. And so the Thomasina house is also in St. George's home. And you can get this during Arthur's story, of course. And you have to talk to the shopkeeper in Maiden's Home at the Odds and Ends shop. And they'll give you the Golden Oldies quest. And that's the key here. Because if you don't do that, then, you know, then, then you're not going to get this. So to get this quest, you have to break into this house. And you have to find all the fake cats. You don't find the, the real cat. You have to find the fake cats first. Then you do the real cat. Yeah. So, lo so look at Aussie Gamer's guides. Or unless you want to just figure it out on your own. Um, this game is pretty good with if you stop and restart a checkpoint. I, I feel like it, it was really good for, you know, doing things you messed up. But, yeah. So, look for that golden oldies at the odds and ends shop. And I'm not going to tell you where it is. It's in Maiden's Home. But, but you know, just I'm going to let you look for yourself. All right. Number nine. Now I can die happy. Died while overdosing on joy. So, as I was getting beaten by the bobbies, the police officers, um, I was... <laughs> I was using my joy pill, and I was overdosing because when you are on joy, it looks like you are high, and it looks like that you are happy and don't care about anything and let the government take over and do whatever they want. Um, but um, if you uh, if you run out of joy, you start to overdose, and it looks really uh, interesting. You start to like uh, like burp out butterflies, I think. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I, th I think three of the three of the joy pills did it. And you just have to annoy someone or go up to someone and they'll start to kill you. And as long as you're still overdosing, you will die. Oh my gosh, this game. Number 10, resistance is futile. Oh, apparently the Borg are here too. Uh, 100 gamer score, talk to Johnny Bolton from the secret radio room. And you need to find the secret radio room. And it, it, was, it, was, it was a little tricky to find, but yeah. You have to go, you have to go to the old soldier. That, well, there's a mission called the old soldiers. And the final part of that, uh, the final objective is to find the Foot Locker, and you have to access that. And so yeah, it was kind of complicated to get there. I mean, um, the guide will show you. I, I it, pretty much there are two houses in George St. George's home, and and they're part of this old soldier's quest line. And you have to go back and forth between them and do stuff. And eventually, you'll get into one of the uh, the. I think it was in the roof, yeah. Um, and then there was this radio you have to put on, but you'll see it in the in the on the video. Yeah, and that's how you get that one. And 11, shocking shocking biology. 15 gamer score. Uh, th th these are the most complicated achievements, I think, in this game so far. Uh, this this category. Killed a guy named Ryan Andrews. And Ryan Andrews is another name from a different uh, game. Yes, and you might know what it is. But, um, yeah, when you're in the Haworth Labs, 
you're gonna be, be getting trying to get killed by all these people. So you just have to kill Ryan Andrews is one of them. He's near one of the switches. Like I, I think it was towards the end. Uh, it's after after you pull the switches and the the room is filled with gas and the uh, there are the f bunch of scientists. Now the hard part was I was trying to not kill anything or kill anyone. So what I had to do was I had to kill him, reload my save, make sure. Oh, and there's a really good counter in your in the menu, and it says how many people you've killed. So I killed him, reloaded uh, my save, and then it said zero. Yeah. So if I ever made a mistake, also you can go back and do the same thing. But yeah, you have to kill Ryan. Ryan Andrews, yes, and uh, yeah, I don't know if you know what game that's from, but you can figure it out. Anyway, category number three, Sally achievements. Two achievements for 30 gamer score. Hello, Sally. Sally's the next character. Wow, a lot of achievements here. Number one, gotta catch them all. Yeah, so she's catching Pokemon and butterflies. 15 gamer score, catch 40 butterflies with Sally's butterfly net. And there are all these different butterflies just like in, in, in little groups. And there's actually one of the, I think the first place you see it, is the mission with the butterflies and I caught I think like 10 groups of butterflies um, but you could also finish that quest and go to one of your shelters and then and then you can oh if you take the butterflies you can then use your stash to, to throw them out but I feel like there are plenty of butterflies to get throughout the game yeah I don't know you just just try to catch all those butterflies but yeah you, just, you can all you have to do is transfer the 10 butterflies between your inventory and your stash and you could just grind it out that way. Or you could just find them. Um, number two, I love the smell of chloroform in the morning. Oh, to your oh, 15 gamer score knocked out 50 NPCs with the atomizer. And at some point she has this weapon, which is an uh, which is like a little perfume bottle thing. And you have knockout stuff in it. And in particular, the stuff is the sleep tight recipe. So so you have to unlock the sleep, sleep tight recipe by working through Sally's missions, her quests. Uh, specifically the squaring the circle one um, but yeah once you do that you'll get the sleep tight recipe you'll get the sleep tight atomizer and then you'll be able to start putting them to sleep just by spraying and I was spraying everybody just as it I don't know if I put it on the video but I was just spraying everybody walking walking around oh man but yeah it's not that hard to get so the next category is category four Ollie achievements two achievements for 30 gamer score and Ollie's the third player you carry play the third character you play as so number one lighten up 15 gamer score used 15 25 lightning rods playing as Ollie and I I eventually got the lightning rod um, and then I just started I went to my shelter and I just started throwing it yeah over and over I just kept throwing it yeah so this is a good way to grind it out so you can get it done quickly and number two, Sugar Daddy, 15 gamer score, injected yourself with glucose 10 times. So unfortunately for him, he's diabetic. So he has to continue to give himself glucose. And he needs to get glucose by getting empty needles and honey. And honey is irritating to get because when you go to the trees to get the honey, the bees are there. So um, I, this ended up not being a problem in the end. But once you get a special suit, you're able to then... You're able to then get the honey, no problem. And I, f I felt like I had so many glucose after a while that I was fine. So yeah, you should be able to get this, no problem. All right, the next category is category five, miscellaneous achievements, six achievements for 240 gamer score. Number one, our prudent friend, 15 gamer score. Listen to all the phone calls in the phone booths. And I grinded this out quickly. So every, so uh, in the first area you wake up and you, well, you the, the first like safe house, you wake up uh, on the bed and you go outside and there's this little area and you can find a phone booth. You can find them all over. And if you go to the phone in the phone booth, you'll be start hearing some secret messages. Ah, yes. So just listen to all of them. Now, if you go back to your to your bed in the safe house and you go 24 hours ahead of time, like just you could skip time. Then um, you could go back to the phone booth and I heard all of them. I just kept going back, going back, going back, going back. And I ended up hearing all the phone calls eventually. And if I remember correctly, there were 12 messages, I think. So, yeah, and, it, and it's, it's like a conversation between our prudent friend and Mr. Kite. Oh, there, by the way, there are so many different Beatles references in this. So if you like the Beatles, you're going to hear a lot of great things and some awesome references. So also, uh, the next one is number two, don't you have somewhere else to be? 90 Gamer Score, survive 50 days. And to be honest, I kind of grinded this out. I was in this place after you do this like quiz game and you do this little bedroom. I grinded out a whole bunch of stuff. I grinded out the, the, these TV shows too. But um, 
when I was in there, I ended up sleeping, going the next day, sleeping, going the next day in order to get the other achievement. So I ended up getting 50 days, no problem. So can you die and still get this? I think when I died, it didn't reset the days, I think. But I did it without dying. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you could do it without, you could die and you could still get this, but try not to die. Yeah, but you, you could also grind it out. Go to a bed, sleep for 24 hours. Go to a bed, sleep for 24 hours, and you'll get it. Number three, baby, you're a rich man. There's, an, there's a Beatles reference right there. Gain 1,000 pounds from looting, bartering across all playthroughs. Yeah, so what you do in this game, you loot and you and you just you barter and you get stuff from everywhere. And actually, the, the number you're looking for is not like how much cash you have. If you go into the statistics panel, which is awesome, it shows you everything, that, that um, you have to look for total coins found. And, yeah, and, that, and, that's, uh, and that'll show you how much you have there. Um, number four, I got better. 15 gamer score, contracted and cured the plague. So I got the plague in Arthur's playthrough, and for some reason it wouldn't unlock this. Uh, so then I yeah and, oh by, by the way the way you the way you cure yourself from the, oh so so there are these there are these NPCs that are running around and they have the plague yeah and then they can make you sick or they can kill you of course you'll see them um, but as Arthur I tried to get sick and I could not catch the plague for some reason and I don't know why uh, so I just kept dying so I played as Sally I caught the plague right away and I used the phenocyanin jab it's a you know the needle so you uh, i had a whole bunch of phenocyanin jabs and i used it and i and i healed myself and then i was okay yeah so I, I had to wait till her i don't know why it did that all right number five the saint 90 gamer score completed the entire game without directly murdering anyone so like i said it's not super hard you can knock them out though however um so i knocked out a lot of people there are certain weapons you can craft and it'll say how dangerous they are that you can knock them out with and won't kill them it'll just knock them out and then the other things you 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 will kill them by accident and you'll say oh i need to now restart my checkpoint and yeah it was it was kind of annoying but sometimes but most of the game was not too hard at all uh if you like killing people then i guess this is not gonna be fun for you yeah but so so look for look for the the weapons that that can't really hurt people and the last achievement is number six a bit of the old ultra violence 15 gamer score killed 100 npcs across all playthroughs and i typically don't like killing people in games it's just i don't know it bothers me for some reason uh i like killing zombies and things like that but so after my game was done and i completed the entire game i loaded up an old checkpoint and i just killed 100 people and they kind of made me sad but yeah i had to do that for the achievement uh yeah whatever all right category number six collectible achievements five achievements for 195 gamer score number one give me shelter 30 gamer score unlocked all of arthur's shelters so in this game you get to go to all of arthur's shelters and the shelters are basically these these buildings with smoke coming from the chimney and i believe there are 10 if i remember correctly and i feel like i couldn't do them all with arthur so I, I, it's probably in the video, but I played this a long time ago. I feel, I feel like I did one with either Sally or Ollie. I think Sally. Yeah, there's one that we couldn't access. So, um, yeah, so, and, and the parade one was weird to get. But anyway, you'll find them eventually. I, it wasn't super hard to find them, especially if you are looking at a guide. Um, number two, Arch Archipel oh God, Archipelag 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 oh my gosh. Set foot on every island. Yeah, sometimes I have a hard time saying words. That's okay. Um, so yeah, so you'll get this pretty much. You need to visit every every area that has an access track with Arthur. And when you're playing as Sally, you need to do destroy mission Rathom. And then, then then you should you should probably get it there. So yeah, I don't remember having a problem with it, but you know. So number three, you do know Jack. 30 gamer score. Collected all of Uncle Jack's shows. So this one was interesting. After that game show thing where I where I ended up uh, grinding out the 50 days. I wasn't actually trying to grind out the 50 days. I was in this little room with a TV and Uncle Jack is this creepy dude who has these TV shows. Old, old fashioned TV shows. And there are so many. There are 45 of these shows. And what I did was at 7 o'clock a.m. 12 o'clock p.m. 4 o'clock p.m., 7.30 p.m., and 10.30 p.m. I turned on the TV, and a show, and it would say on the bottom of the screen, this show is new, it's logged in your in your collectibles or whatever. I forget what it said. But 
you have to find all 45 of those. I think, I don't remember the exact number, but there were either, I think two that I could not unlock in this little room and I spent so long. So I kept going to sleep, waking up at the right time. Going to sleep, waking up at the next time. And just kept going over and over and over. And I'm putting on the screen exactly what, what they are, what shows are at what time, so in case you want to know. But I had to play Sally's, and I ended up in Sally's um, playthrough just finding a TV, I think. And um, and I was able to get the last two. So yeah, it, it wasn't hard. I think it was Sally that I used, as, but it was definitely another character. Um, so don't freak out if there are still some that you need. And in the menu of the actual game, when you go to the main menu, you could see which collectibles you've gotten and which ones you haven't. Number four, remember, remember, 90 gamer score. And this is for finding all the collectibles. And the collectibles, you have to find 20 masks for Arthur, 12 masks for Sally, and 12 masks for Ollie. They're masks, they give him back the memories. Um, and I'm pretty sure that the... the um, the TV shows, the Jack's TV shows, also counted as part of the collectibles. And you could see in the main menu, like I said, which ones you're missing. And number five, hot on her heels, 30 gamer score. This is for finding all the notes relating to Prudence. And I'm, I'll put up on the screen where they were. And also which character you had to you had to play as to get them and kind of like where. So, you know, I mean, you still have to find them, but that, that's, that'll help you out a little bit. All right, now I'm moving on to the DLCs. So I guess if you don't aren't buying the DLCs, then thank you for coming to this video and listening. But let's go through them. Category number seven: Roger and James Story Achievements DLC. And this is funny; these two characters, and yeah, they're they're silly. Four achievements for 75 gamer score. And if you just you get these four just for playing through this their little story. Category eight: Roger and James Miscellaneous Achievements DLC. Five achievements for 75 gamer score. So the first one is Metal Guru, 15 gamer score. Killed eight robots in the intro. So the intro section of the game, you're gonna be, you have a laser blaster and you're going to be killing robots. And you have to try to kill eight of them. It's it's hard, I think I did it like a dozen times, but I finally got it, all right? Number two, Headmaster, 15 gamer score. Get 100 headshots. That'll just take some time, but you'll get it. Three, Local Hero. And you have to, this is 15 gamer score, you have to save all the villagers. So, uh, there's an optional quest, save at least three citizens, six out of three. Uh, so you have to just, it's under the War, War of the Worlds quest line. But you need to save three of them for the quest, but you have to save all six for the actual achievement. And it was kind of frustrating. Yeah, I had to do it a whole bunch of times. But I did get it. I mean, it's not impossible, but but it was just challenge, It was challenging to do it fast and not, not die from these robots that are really strong. All right, four, shouldn't these be red? Um, or that's a question. Red? 15 gamers were destroyed. 50 explosive barrels. You'll find explosive barrels all over the place. I feel like there weren't that many. So tr if you see one, uh, shoot it. Definitely. Number five, Helter Smelter. <laughs> More beetles. Oh boy. 15 gamers score pushed seven robots into the smelter. And I actually had to go back and grind this out later on because I ran out of... Um... No, no, I actually had skipped this part. This is the last achievement I got in this DLC. But during Act 2, after picking up the Chrono Bomb... You have, you, that, that actually helps you slow time. You'll, you'll drop through the fan, you'll be in this circular circular room with lava in the middle, and you have to just, like, R, uh, uh, RS. You have to use your right stick to push the robots into the smelter. But using the Chrono Bomb will slow them down it'll be, it, because there'll be a lot of them. So, yeah, after, after you get seven of them in there, you'll get that achievement. And category number nine, Roger and James Collectible Achievements, DLC. One achievement, 30 gamer score. This is for picking up all the lore items. Well read. And uh, I'll put up a, uh, a guide for this because for these, you really need a guide for all these. Uh, I'm going to put up a guide for all three of them, for all three of the DLCs. All right, category number 10, Light Bearer Story Achievements DLC. Three achievements, 60 gamer score. These are, um, this is like a dude who plays a guitar. He's like a, he's like a, a 60s like rock, rock, rock star. So yeah, these are the ones you get for completing the story. Uh, these, categ these categories are going to be similar. Category 11, this is the miscellaneous ones. And for number one, Love Me Don't. <laughs> Come on, the Beatles references. All right, so this is where you have to serenade 30 people. So you're able to do this one move with your guitar and serenade uh, whoever. And they're like, ooh, this is nice. You have to serenade 30 of them. Two, great vibrations, the Beach, Bo Beach Boys, the 15 gamer score. Parried 30 attacks with the vibe. So as soon as someone's going to hit you, you parry it. And you have to do it 30 times and you get it with your guitar. 30, mind blower, 15 gamer score. Blue minds of 15 people after a charged face melt. 
So for this, you need to unlock the charged face melt um, ability. And then once you do that, you have to you have to maintain the right trigger until the guitar release a yellow yeah, until there's a yellow wave and the wave will knock the enemies near you and then you attack them by pressing multiple times on the right trigger while they're on the ground. Yeah. So you have to do that to 15 different NPCs. All these characters coming after you. Um, the full Nikki, really? I mean, come on. 15 gamer score, pole dance Nikki. You know, some of you may like this achievement. That's fine. You know, I'm just not a big fan. So you have to take a lift up later on in the game to this dancer's room. And you go in and you talk to them. And as long as you make sure to remove your clothes in your inventory before you go near the pole. Right? Make sure you take off your clothes. You're going to dance naked. Lovely. Okay, so yeah, that's enough of that one. Make sure you take off your clothes though before you go to the pole because that'll be that'll get the cutscene. Five, the hits just keep on coming. Hit three NPCs with the same gold record. So you have gold records you can throw. And in the same room with the pole, I threw it and it's a small room so it bounced all over and ended up hitting three of the, the, the girls in the room. Yeah, I know. Oh boy. Category number 12. And these are the collectible ones for Lightbearer. And I'm going to put up a guides, a guides for this. And um, yeah, you have to collect all the lore, lore for this, the liner notes. And there are these statues all over the place of Nick, the guy. And you have to just vibe them. And then makes them change their position. <laughs> Whatever. All right, category 13, We All Fall Down Story. This one was kind of interesting. Um, and these you've got these three achievements for just beating the story. Category 14, We All Fall Down Miscellaneous. So number one, Pushover. 15 gamer score, knock down 40 NPCs with the whip shove combo. So you have this whip and you can hit them with the whip and then sho you can shove them and then whip them. Yeah, you knock them down. But you'll get a lot, you'll get a lot of that. Um, number two and three is kind of a collectible type thing, but it's not. You have to find, and I'm not even gonna tell you where they are, just keep looking around. Or look at the guide if you want to look at the guide. Uh, but number two, uh, canal retentive. <laughs> oh my gosh! And alley catch. You have to find the loot in the canal and in the alleyway. And you'll, and you'll. I feel like if you're looking around, you will find both of them. I found them without looking, actually. Number four, down to tubes. 15 gamer score. Zap 20 different TVs with the dart gun, and you're gonna find a dart gun later on. And you're gonna find all these TVs that zap you. So they're all kind of like hanging on on uh, up up in the air. So you just have to shoot uh, 20 different ones with the dart gun. So it was a little irritating at times because you, you had to try to get to it. But you'll find it. It's not, not that bad. And number five, all natural, finished DLC with no upgrades. So this one was definitely a challenge. So you collect all of the items, which you're going to get. You're going to collect all of the, the upgrade items. And you have to then, and, and by the way, there are 42 of these things, contraptions. And they will actually, they will help you to upgrade your character, of course. So but you, first of all, you have to play through the whole entire DLC without upgrading anything, which is which is challenging. But you have to go through the load screen to the bridal path. Uh, it's part of the, the manor mission. And so, so people think you have to do this in two playthroughs, but it's actually just one you can do it in. So you need to, with all those in your hands, you, need, you know, you need to go through the load screen to the bridal path. The game will auto-save. Um, because every load screen it auto saves, so you have to upgrade everything, then quit to the main menu, load the game from the main menu again, but don't start a new DLC game. So then you'll be right back where you upgraded everything, and you can carry on with no upgrades. Yeah, so that's how you do that. And uh, it, it, I don't know, it was it was a little frustrating, but yeah, it's okay. Um, and so now for this last one, category 15, we all fall down. I put the unlocked upgrades here. Because uh, for this category, you need to find all the lore and all the upgrades themselves. You have to actually find the upgrades to do it. So yeah, so put that here and I'll put up guides for these. But that is it. This this game was a long game, but it was a really, really good game. I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, and it got me into a whole other genre of, of games that I enjoy now. So I hope you enjoy it, and I will talk to you next time in Achievement Planner.